What we're going to do today is put a new water pump on this Evan Root 7.5. It's a 1981 model. Keep watching. Okay, my first of all, we got two bolts here above the propeller, so let's go ahead and get those out. I have sprayed them, so it ain't, you know, I've been, let's make sure we get it loosened up. <coughs> There's one. We don't get no more. Now it looks like the zinc is a little bit loose. or wore out. Uh, more than wore out. That needs replaced. Next, we got one right up here we got to take out. So let's go ahead and get that one out. Let's see if it wants to move any. <clears throat> okay, we're going to bump it with my rubber mallet. You don't want to hit the fins there. You'll break them right off. At least I can hold this one. Some of these motors, you can't hold them. All right, let's set that right there. Well, right there's the water pump. Let's go ahead and get that changed out. Okay, I got it on my little holder, so let's take a look at it and see what we got. I don't know if you can see that, but that I see this piece has got the corner chipped right here, pushed out. I wonder if this is froze or something at one time, because if you look here, I don't know if you can see that. That's all broken. See? So, okay. Let's see what we can do on this. Well, well that side's all broke. Alrighty, let's see. as that is I should be able to just spray some stuff on it this is the kit water pump repair kit I got the Evan Root Johnson part number 0396644 I believe that this is the one I thought it called for let's see what all we got here Well, we didn't get that that black piece in this kit. So, okay, here's what's in there. Some gaskets of plates in the cup. Okay. Well, we'll see how it goes. If I... If I can, I'm gonna put it together with it so it will run with this piece and then I'll see if, I, if that piece is even available. Alrighty, it took me a while to get these bolts loose. I saved you the agony, but <clears throat> none of them pulled the threads like a lot of them do, so they're just tight in there. All right, see, it's, threads are clean. For the most part rather than the crap it picked up out of it all right let's see what we got here okay see now look at that uh, I can't turn it but of course the impellers on the opposite side that I want to show you you can see that 
that's broken there that's so it's I mean it's all brittle that's why I wouldn't pump no water but let's go ahead and slide that off if it'll come off come on don't slide the whole shaft out you can see it has like that little little round bearing there it slides right into the side of this Got that off. Not very good shape. All right, let's take this off. That's the gasket and the plate, bottom plate with another gasket. Let's clean this up. That cup looks like it's pretty stuck in there, but we'll see. Let's see if we can clean this up some. Well, I ain't got much hope for that, but I ain't got another one, so I want to try it and see if the motor's going to run good, better with, boy, that's stuck, stuck. I don't want to break the rest of it. I'm not going to pry that out of there, because if I pry that out of there, that's probably going to break. And I would like to, I would like to start it and see how the, uh, motor runs with its cooling and to make sure everything's okay and then we'll make a parts list all right like I said this is the water pump repair kit there's the directions in about 50 different languages probably. Okay. We got this envelope. Let's see what we got there. Oh. Four new bolts. The O-ring for the top of the shaft and the new slide and it's uh, it's not a steel pin, it's a, like a nylon pin. So we'll see. Lay that there. We've got our metal plate. We've got our new impeller. Got this for the top of there, so you'll get a good seal around that for the water to go up. Actually, we've got two different sizes. We'll verify which size we need. Got a new cup for in there, which is seized tighter than you can possibly imagine. Another gasket, and the uh, and the molly loop for the dry shaft spline. And I'll show you what that, how that's gonna go. Okay, we're gonna put our first gasket on. We're gonna put our metal plate on. Second gasket. And you can see, these, the spline has a, or the shaft has a flat spot right there. The disc goes in, just like that. Then the impeller goes, we're going to go down with that. Fingers too fast. Let's hold that right there. Don't you move. There, slid down. This is going to go on. Just like that. 
All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the shaft clockwise and push this right down. Of course, now I got my gaskets turned. Okay, and we'll use the, the new bolts. Let me put some something on those so they don't seize. And this little O-ring right here goes right here on this shaft for a good seal. Right there. I probably didn't have to put anything on these bolts because it's going to have to come back out anyhow, but it's on there. And we're going to be easy with these. One thing you want to make sure that you do is lubricate this spline at the top here because if you don't, you ever get that stuck in your engine, you cannot get it out. I mean, it is tough, tough. Be generous. You don't necessarily have to put it on the top, but on the spines. What I was going to show you here on this old motor. See, this is spined and the bottom of the crankshaft is spined. And now it goes in there. And if, and if you don't lube or that, lubricate that, with some good molly lube or something before you put it in there. If it ever gets stuck, sometimes I'm really, really tough to get them back out. And you can see, by being up in the crankshaft like that, it's going to be hard to do anything with that as far as trying to get to it, to, to get anything loop on it afterwards. So, this is well worth making sure that this spline is lubricated. These rubber grommets here, they go in the top of that. You got a large one and a small one. The larger one is normally the ones that have a thermostat and the small ones are the smaller engines that don't. So in this one, you can tell the tube is the larger one. So we're gonna go with the larger one. So we'll go ahead and put that right in. I'm gonna put just a little bit of lube right at that opening. Just make that shaft slide in there a little easier. It wouldn't have hurt if I would have uh, lubed the uh, impeller, so, but I'm not going to run it dry anyhow. That one is good for about the first time. Okay. Okay. There we go. Put this start this in. I already got them looped up. They don't seize up the next time. But There she is. Okay, let's give it a little shot and see what we got.
All right, well, you see it. It's working. We've got it running good. Don't sound too bad. Um, hey, if you like the content, give me that thumbs up and subscribe. And as always, stay safe on the water. Take care.